going around Universal Studios, and I know we're going to be trying out all the drinks for the summer. And this is going to be our picks for the day. Ooh, okay. Yeah. Some alcoholic, some not alcoholic. Yes. Mostly alcoholic. Okay. Are we okay with that? Yeah, yes. Let's do it. I want, okay. I want to do it. Uh, right now, we are going to Finnegan's. Finnegan's. The pub in New York. Yes. Let me put it over my bun. This is Orlando, baby. Do you think people would follow the trend? I don't, I like the minions. Yeah, I do too. I do too. So the rum neuralizer was the Men in Black one, right? Men in Black, yes. A neuralizer if you're wondering is the little instrument that they would use in Men in Black. So you make you forget things. So technically by the drink standard, if we were to see an alien and then drink this drink, we would forget all about the alien. We got jokes. <laughs> jokes, jokes, jokes. I was really sending that one up too. <laughs> It is a very, very good base to start off with for sure if we're going to be going around the park because it does pack a lot of punch in here and be responsible. Uh, what are the what are the emotions? What are the feelings? That is alcohol, mm -hmm. and um, it's not. I've also never had a rum runner. You never had a rum runner? Look at these first for me. Yeah, I know. I, I thought it was like going to be real fruity, but I was like, oh, that is. That is alcohol. Well, that is rum. Mm -hmm. I love it. First of all, the color is a big old yes for me. It goes down easy. Good. Oh. Mm hmm Good. I'm not and I still remember everything. Oh. <laughs> you haven't finished the drink yet. No. Oh, that's, no. That's it. That's it. Mm hmm Incredible. That's mine. That's my review. I'm going to be ice cubes <laughs> ice cube. all over the park. Ice cubes of Universal Studios. Yes. And so far... Best ice, best summer 2019 ice cube. Ice cubes. For the for the ice cubes, what what are our opinions on that? Um, I have very strong opinions about ice cubes, <laughs> and if I'm having a grown up beverage, I like for them to be square, like perfectly mm. square. I don't like the flat, you know, with the round tops, like you have in like. Oh no! Stuff. Yeah, that's like sty that's like styrofoam. Yeah. Styrofoam ice cubes. I don't want that. Mm -hmm. I don't want that. I want the pretty square ones, and this is excellent. You know what? I'm ready to storm Area 51. <laughs> What this want to do. I just pictured a claw coming down from the ceiling to like grab you and be like, nope, absolutely not. Take me back to the mothership. Honestly. Yep, that's it. Take me back. <laughs> what am I doing? This that's is not... our first stop. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. I mean, why did I do that? Do this responsibly. <laughs> Don't do that. Yeah, yeah, please do not do this. <laughs> what are we doing right now? <laughs> are we gonna order the rum? Are we gonna order the rum girl? Oh no! Oh, no. Oh, I'm gonna drink some water. <gasps> oh my gosh! It's a thing to do. Incredible. Ching. <laughs> Today's hydration starts yesterday. So, where are we heading off to next? Okay, spring. Field, which is the Simpsons, Simpsons. yeah, Simpsons area. Uh, we're gonna be doing the margarita. <gasps> Ooh. Yeah, we're gonna be getting the, the big donut. Okay, mm -hmm. are they both pink? I know the big donut is pink. It's pink, yeah. Is the margarita pink? I love it. So, we're over here trying the strawberry margarita over at the uh, Duffy Beer Garden. Yes. A really good little scenic view over here. San Francisco. San Francisco and London, right over there. Yeah, right so nice. The Definitely cakes for sure. <laughs> I really didn't expect it to kick this hard, but um, yeah. it is. I'm liking it a lot. So this one is available all the time. Mm -hmm. um, and I don't know of any other place that does margaritas in the park besides. No, I'm not sure. I think it's right here. So yeah. I think if you're looking for a margarita in the park, Right Duff. <laughs> yeah? That's Universal um, is out here. You get what you pay for, man. Oh my gosh. No, it's really good. Really good flavors. It's got really good strawberry and there's definitely, you can taste, taste the grown up part. The grown up part. It's not too frozen, so it can give you like a complete brain freeze. No. So it's like a good mid tier, I think. Mm -hmm. And it's not too sweet either. Sometimes the strawberry yeah, flavors and stuff gets like, like all the things that like could go wrong with a margarita, I feel like they've gone past. Yeah. 
Diagon. Okay, we're going to Diagon Alley. May I be so bold as to say my favorite place in the park? Really? Yes. Oh, magical, let's go. My next closest house is, is Gryffindor, but I don't like to talk about that. <gasps> Magic! So they have all the specialty Potter drinks. They serve some of the specialty beers here. So you've got al alcoholic, non-alcoholic, and I've had pretty much everything here. Today we're gonna do the peach, uh, peach tea, fizzing, fizzing. Peach, peach tree, peach, peach tree. No, no peach fizzing tree. Peach fizzing. Wait, no. yeah, but, but that's comes later. <laughs> hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me out. Peach tree fizzing tea. tea. So right now we're trying out the peach tree fizzing tea over from the, what is it called again? Hopping pot. The, the, hop, the hopping pot? Uh-huh. Very refreshing. Yeah. Not too overwhelming on the sugar either. Very goes on very smoothly as well. These are all non-alcoholic. Yeah, these are non-alcoholic over here as well. So very safety thing for everybody. Yes. It's not a fakey peach taste. It tastes like biting into a real peach, which I really like. Mm. I think this one might be my favorite there. Out of from the, from the hopping place? Yes, we got it. Peach tree fizzing tea. And by the way, if you ever see me and Jacqueline over in the parks, <laughs> just me and her, we're gonna have things with us. <laughs> we're gonna come, be vlogging. Come eat these things, yeah, guys. Yeah, all the free food. We get back. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we're trying to do, get back to the viewers. Get back to the viewers. I think we're gonna be heading over to um, the train now, over to Hogwarts Express. Hogwarts Express? Yeah, and then we're gonna be trying out the. Mm, we shouldn't tell the. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, okay. It's a surprise. <laughs> There's no one there making it sound so mysterious. It is not on the menu. So you need to know the ingredients that are in it. Once we get there, I will explain everything. What would you rate the new Oh, 5 out of 500,000 points from Gryffindor. I mean, smooth gonna... ride, beautiful clean windows, almost died, but I mean, the trolley lady came just in time. I know people probably think it was uh, Harry's Patronus that saved us. I think it was the snacks. I think it was the power of the snack. Hogsmeade. Hogsmeade. We're in Hogsmeade. Hogsmeade always popping. Always. But I like to look at the snow-capped buildings and pretend. I just like to mm, imagine. So right now we are headed over to the Hogshead Pub, which is attached to the three broomsticks. There she is. So we are now outside over in the patio area. Nice little scenic view of the. So nice back, back, back here. here. Yeah. So today. We got a butter beer. Yes. This guy. This guy. This okay. Us. Yeah. Let's go into detail about this. So this right here. Um, shout out to the annual pass holders. How I originally found out about it. Um, people have called it the triple. They've called it the Deathly Hollows. But since none of that is sanctioned by Warner Brothers or J.K. Rowling, you have to ask for this in a very specific way. So what you're looking at is at the bottom. That's going to be the Strongbow Cider. Okay, in the middle is going to be one of the beers designed specifically for Wizarding World. And this one is the Hogshead Ale, which is like a red Scottish ale. It's my favorite one. And then at the top, you've got the Guinness. If you're like me and you get bored with drinks halfway through, this is the perfect drink. In just in that order, say, so can I have the Strongbow, the Hogshead with the Guinness on top? And as long as you do that, they can be like, yeah, of course. All about the way you ask it. Come on. All about it. So would you want to have the butter beer? Or would you want to try that one? Or You've never this? had this, right? Uh, yeah, this would be a first for me. Do it. But when you get to the point where it changes flavors, 
<laughs> it's over. It's over. Okay, go ahead, go ahead. There it is. There's the change. That's it right there. Yeah. Yeah, no. <laughs> It goes really well. Yeah. Like you think it's like one of those, like remember like from like kindergarten, like the little experiment that you have like the oil and the water? Yeah. So you can't see the change. It's like a whole much. other drink in itself. Yeah. Yeah. I don't see like red ales. Also, I love that word. I just realized that. <laughs> Ale. I got, um, the, I got the moment where you ale. Like, you loved it. Yeah, I was like, I, really? that I said it and I loved ah. it. <laughs> I'm not a huge beer person. So if you're like me in that aspect too, you'll love this because it's not too much of anything. It just changes every couple of minutes. You know yeah. what I mean? It's it's awesome. But the everlasting gobstopper of the of beers. Correct. And we still have this guy here. Oh my gosh, yes. Okay, no, no alcohol in this one. No, this is just the frozen butter beer. I mean, so we we about to fight. You said you like it cold. Oh yeah, wait, yeah, yeah. Right. I like it frozen. Can we can we like can we can we put our, our arguments in right now? Go. Or, so like, okay. Go ahead. That one's just a little bit too thick for my liking. It just leaves a, a little film in your throat. It's just, I don't know, man. It, like, the, like the more you drink it, just the more it kind of just builds up. There's no such thing as too, too many thick. C's. <laughs> the most C's. So I love the frozen one mm. because this one, the flavor isn't as like pungent. It's not as sweetie. Also, I just like a slush. It's like having a like Harry Potter Slurpee and I, I love that. No matter what way you like it, the important thing to know is that I'm right. <laughs> but I, res I respect your opinion though, you know? <laughs> mm -hmm. Thanks guys so much for watching today. Please make sure to follow our Instagram and our YouTube. It's gonna be Best Orlando Spots. We're gonna start putting all this information and more uh, on those two channels. So please check it out. Please like and follow. Thank you guys for hanging out and drinking all these summer drinks with us. I appreciate you guys. Bye.